is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuild. Whoa. Whoa. I got a big head. <laughs> Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at Copart for another walk around. We're going to jump into this today with a pickup truck. A 2017 Ford F-150. It's supposed to be rebuilt. Interesting. Yeah. I figured we'd check this one out because it is it's supposedly a rebuilt truck. But, you know, you look at it, you see there's some parts that the insurance company said should have been replaced that, uh, it wasn't replaced. Yep. More. Oh, boy. Uh, there's a tow hook missing under here. Where did that go, I wonder? Nope. It is gone. Could this have frame damage? Look at the bolt holes there. I don't know, guys. I'd say it's possible. It's possible. Um... Can't say for sure though. Look at, I mean, look at, wait, this, this doesn't even, guys. Wait, no man, no man. This wheel is shoved into the wheel well, so the geometry is off. It should be more out this way. Instead, it's shoved back in there. So that's that's great. Um, somebody replaced the fender. They put a, a black fender on it. Um, this didn't get fixed. And the gaps are, you know, really good. These are, these are, yeah, these are great gaps right there, guys. Yeah. Nope, not really. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, this is fun. I saw, I saw this and I thought, oh, I gotta, oh boy, I can't even open that. Oh boy. Ooh, she is, there we go. I didn't want to open. Oh, that's your uh, your Eco Beast, man. Your twin turbo Eco Beast. I love that engine. I do. I don't know what the miles are on it. We'll check that in a second. She's obviously still got some work left to be done. This is how the tire should look. Nice and evenly centered. Nope, not on the other side. Must be a scratch or something that runs along these lines. You're not going to be able to see it because it's buried underneath all this dust but there's definitely gotta be something else going on here. There are some extra parts included in the back. Interesting, including that front piece that's broken and smashed, the grill, the old fender. I wonder if somebody bought this to start putting it back together, maybe for themselves as a project or something, and you know how that goes, life. Life happens, man, and sometimes you end up with a project that you think is gonna take you a few months, and then life happens and, you know, it sits for several years and they, they finally just said, you know what, I'm going to get rid of it. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. I do wonder what happened, though. 71,000 miles on the clock. It's sitting at $5,600 right now. $5,600. Honestly, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Look at that roof. LED lighting. Now, you're not driving this home. I hope you know. <laughs> I hope you know that. You're not gonna drive this home. Okay, that front suspension is tweaked like a son of a gun. Let's put the key in. Get that Eco Beast brought to life here. Didn't even need a jump. How about that? Oh man, it's nice to be able to see out of these windows, right? Golly. Oh, she runs good. She does. I wonder if it still has the uh, the fourth wheel that's missing. It's got a spare on it right now. TPMS light, check engine light, airbag light. All right. Why do we have a check engine light on? This thing is super low miles. Oh, I know why. I know why. I, I, I see it now. I see it now. I found the problem. Uh, there it is. There it is. Hold on. Can we turn that into a, into a, a ram? No, come on. Oh, nope, it's still a Ford, and the check engine light is still on. <laughs> oh, I piss people off when I do that. People just can't take a joke, man. You can't take a joke. All right, people make fun of my Ram all the time. I don't get mad about it. Goes right into gear, moves forwards, moves backwards. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to hit it. Oh, boy, you can feel that. 
when you start going forward, man, you can feel it just wants to pull hard that direction. The steering feels all right. The brakes feel good. Everything looks pretty good here, guys. You know what's weird? Look up there. It says Farmer's Auto. Oh. Is this still an insurance car? This could be something similar to a rejected repair, as if the body shop started working on it and they didn't do a satisfactory job and it got sent to the auction. She runs great. She runs great. You got your four wheel drive controls right here. You got your trailer brakes right there, all of your climate there, stereo system there, infotainment everything right there. Okay, so this may not be what I thought it was. I thought this was a project that somebody just gave up on. It looks to me like this was something that a body shop was cutting corners on and the insurance company showed up, said no more. They put a stop to it and they sent it to on. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, wow. Look, you see the hood doesn't even close. The hood doesn't even close, guys. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say whoever is doing it. It was cutting a few corners. Now, look, I don't fault you for that. If you're an individual, you're just fixing it up for yourself or whatever. Hey, man, cut whatever corners you want to. When you're a body shop, though, you can't be doing that, man. You can't be doing it. You got to give a customer the car back the way it was supposed to be from the factory, not cut no corners. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. Next on my list is a 2016 Acura TLX hail damaged. I've always liked these. I really have. I've always liked these. I think they just got a real mean look to them, guys. Look at those headlights. Those projectors are sick. It's just got some nice angles. It does. It's a sick looking car, I think. 68,000 miles to so low miles on it. Yeah, she's got some hail damage. Uh, main thing to resolve is that sunroof. But the miles are right, guys. I don't think that back window is shattered. It really isn't that bad. How's this side look? It's covered in dust, so it's hard to tell, but this side looks pretty good. Yokohama tires. What about on the front? We got Yokohamas on the front? We do. We do. And look at the tread depth on those babies. Yes, sir. You could replace this hood, replace that sunroof, and the car would look a million times better. A million times better. That is, that, excuse me, hiccup. That is still going to be an issue. That is still going to be an issue, but it's not horrible. You know what I mean? It's really not that bad. Let's see what the interior looks like here. Oh, wow. This is actually very, very clean. Sniff test. Smells good. It does. It smells really good. Oh, man. All right. All right. She's got power, too. How about that? Wow. It started right up. She started right up. I like this. I, I like this. I really, really like this. Turn that radio down. All right, what is this? What is IDS? What does that mean? Integrated Dynamics System Sport Plus. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Sport Plus, that's what I'm talking about. Let's put it in gear. Nice backup cam there. She goes backwards, yep. She goes forwards, yes she does. Guys, this thing is sweet. It's got like, kind of like an iDrive system there. I guess that works, sort of. I don't know. I don't know. I, works your radio. Looks like your client. It, it's really, this is very bizarre. And, and of course, I'm new to this. So I, I don't know how it works, but like, you're turning this, it's adjusting your radio, but your radio is also right here. Why do I have a radio here? And here, I, I, I don't understand. Well, I, I played with it a little bit, and I guess I was able to, to get the, like, trip computer to go there and the radio to be here. That's more what I would want. I don't know. It seems kind of like a clunky 
system. But then again, this isn't a 2021 or a 22. It's a 2016. She's an older vehicle. I don't even know what's under the hood of this car. I'm going to assume it's got a, you know, an Acura V6 under the hood. Surely it's not a four-cylinder. God, I hope it's not a four-cylinder. I really miss when cars had bigger engines, you know? Everything today is like turbocharged and supercharged four-cylinders. Oh, <laughs> well, damn it. <laughs> I should have known, man. Well, Sport Plus, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay. Sport Plus. Um... No, <laughs> I'm just gonna say, nope. It's a nice car though, guys, it, it is, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be making fun of her. She is a nice car. I mean, it's very luxurious, it's spacious. It's got a great looking body and, and interior. Lots of soft touch everywhere. I mean, just soft touch, soft touch, soft touch. Everything is, is that's not quite soft touch, but we got soft touch here too. It, it's a very nice car, it really is. Very nice car for what it is. I'm just, uh, personally, I'm just not interested in it. If it had a V6, I would. Like, I would go out and just smash on the damn thing. That's what I would do. Oh, well. It is what it is, guys. Like I said, she's still a nice-looking car. There it is. There it was. Moving on to the next one. Last on my list, guys. 2005 Ford Exploder. Huh. Uh... Something seems a little off about this one. It's an O. Oh, no key. Damn it. <laughs> well, that'll make quick work of this one, won't it? I'm looking at the door uh, the door and the fender here, and I don't know from where I'm standing. Can you guys see a color difference? Maybe it's just the light. Let me let me put it in the shade there. See that looks that looks about the same in the shade. It's got that pearlescent coat to it, so yeah, I think those are probably I don't know, man. Look at this. Look at that overlap. Look at the damage right there. Look at the damn gap here. Holy cow. No, I'll bet that's off. I'll bet that's off. Because if I stand right here, look at that. You see the difference? I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check it out because it's on the dadgum list. Primewell Valera HT on the back. That's a good looking tire. I wonder what it's here for. This is a, what is that, Advanced Track RSC. Primal Valera HT on the back here. It looks like we got a Firestone Destination on the front. Ouch. Ooh. Just took a little, little bump there as well. All down the side here. Oh, way back here too. Good Lord. This, this thing is, uh, I think there's worms growing out of this. Look at this. What the hell is that? What is that? That's some kind of worm. Oh, there's another one. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. We'll take a quick peek at the interior here. Uh, I'm not sure how I missed. Good Lord, what happened to you, man? You gotta watch out for this stuff, because it'll nail you. It will. Let's see what the interior looks like. Easy does it. It's probably got a 4.6 under the hood. All right, nice. You got your third row. You got captain's chairs here. Headliner looks decent. I always like to double check when it says it doesn't have keys, you know, because... Uh, come on now. Sometimes, every now and again, you get lucky. And you find that someone threw a key down there somewhere. Oh, crap. Who was sitting in this thing? Good night. Yep, there's definitely no key there. Glove box, nope. Center there, nope. In here, nope. What about in there? Key could hide in there. Nope, no key hidden in there either. What about, what about over here? Nope. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, no way. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Guys, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. You know, and I know there's a couple people out there that are like, oh, there's a conspiracy going on. You know, that's fine. You just 
go on whoa you just go on and believe what you want you know ain't, ain't nobody stopping you yeah it's gonna be a four six single over a can but i'm here to tell you man you, you take a few minutes of your time to come out here and actually work you know what i mean like actually come to the yard and put in some time look around occasionally every now and then man <laughs> You come across some of the diamonds in the road. People keep asking me, how do you do it? How do you keep finding these? I, I simply come out here, guys. That's 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 how I do it. I, I come out here and I take the time to look into these things. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's no different than, uh, than anybody else. All right. I am super, super, super excited to hear this one. I think she's gonna run. I do. I think she's going to run. I wonder if this has got a bite now on it or something. Let's sit that down. God dang. Now, I can't make this up. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't me just coming out here hiding the key going, ooh, I found it. These cars come from all over the place. I can't predict where they're going to come from. But you can see right here, it says, no key. <laughs> the windows are taped up because they didn't have a key to roll them up. It says no odometer because there was no key. It's that simple, guys. There, there's no conspiracy. There's nothing more to it. Let's see what the miles are, though. 158? Let's get you guys down there. Advanced track off, door ajar. Warning, tire very low. Okay, well, hell, let's fire it up. <laughs> I'll be damned. Ooh. Ooh, she don't run good though, does she? No, she doesn't. Easy, girl, easy. Oh, well, she's not happy. I mean, just because we found the key and just because it runs doesn't mean it's gonna be a good car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't mean it's gonna be a good car. I'm gonna let it run for just a minute and see if she starts acting any better. Uh, and I'll tell you what else I'm gonna do. Because this stuff here could come off. I'm going to go ahead and just peel this off the car. And we'll go ahead and roll these windows up to make sure the interior doesn't get wet. There we go. We'll just throw this in the back here. And uh, I'll check the other side while I'm at it. Make sure this window works before I go through the... Ooh, that didn't sound very good, did it? Uh-oh. Now this window appears to be stuck. Yeah, this window doesn't work. So we'll leave this one. We'll leave this one the way it is. All right. See if we can get her to get her to pop off again here. Oh no. Boy, she don't want to run this time. Uh-uh. Go and put that window up. Oh, that window does work. Just the switch over there that doesn't. Come on, old girl. She ain't, even, she ain't even trying to run at all. Sounds like it's out of gas, doesn't it? Doesn't that sound like it's out of gas? It just, it just stumbled out and died. and Cycle a little bit. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to do a solid. I'm going to put that key right there where it's easy to see for the next guy. Yeah. And I guess since I'm already out here doing this, we'll just we'll save, the, save the trouble here, man. I just I hate to see an interior get tore up, you know, when it doesn't need to be. There we go. Like I said, we'll just throw this in the back. It's not going to hurt anything back there. And uh, I'll go ahead and roll up that window real quick. Um, I'm a lot more interested in this now than I was, but truthfully, I'm, I'm just not all that interested in it anyway. It's, uh, 
It's not something I'm overly interested in. Let's get that window up. There we go. There we go. With the kinds of winds we get out here, man, sometimes it rips that uh that plastic off. You end up with an interior that's just soaked. Uh, that's a wrap, man. She's done. She's not trying to, to mess around. It really does seem to me like it just ran out of gas. So, I don't know. Bad fuel pump? Maybe. Maybe it actually ran out of gas? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's not too bad, though. I mean, this would make a great daily for somebody, I think. I'll bet the way it was running and stuff, I'll bet it's something simple. I do. I bet it's something simple. I don't think it's going to be any anything crazy catastrophic. That's it. We're done. Hope you enjoy the videos, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Jeez. I hope you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, hit the thumbs up button to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.